Yo, what's going on everybody? It is a little bit after 4.30 in the morning in Chicago on a Monday. Yesterday, we drove back from Iowa to Chicago. We could only fit so much stuff in the car. So today, I'm gonna drive back to Iowa and then back to Chicago in the same day to get some of the rest of our stuff. We just had so much stuff that we had accumulated over the last seven months while we were over there. So I'm doing that today by myself. I don't want to stop anywhere or have to talk to any like people along the route. So I'm going to try and make it without stopping. Uh, we got everything staged in the basement of the house at my in-laws so I can get in and get out without being close to them now that I've left our bubble there. My biggest concern is being sleepy on the road, number one. Number two, it's winter, so slick conditions is another thing I'm worried about. Number three, I'm worried about what am I going to eat? So my wife yesterday packed me just a whole bunch of food. I packed a whole bunch of food. And we'll do a little bit of a Monday mukbang for today. Road trip edition. First thing I'm gonna eat is one of my favorite things, toast with almond butter and jelly. The all, oh actually it's sun butter, so sunflower seed butter. I think the sunflower seed butter expired at the end of the year and the jelly expired in March, I wanna say. I took pictures of it before I started eating. Here we go. Tastes fine. It seems to taste extra sunflowery. If that makes sense. Maybe it's just because I haven't had sun butter in a while. I've been eating a lot of almond butter. That guy was moving. It is now, we're about an hour and a half into the trip. It is still pretty dark out. Now I'm going to try some of these coffin crisps. I think these are Canadian candies my, my wife bought for Halloween, so they're from before Halloween. It's now middle of January. Um, but I think they're called coffee crisps or toffee crisps. I think they're called coffee crisps, but for Halloween they're called coffee crisps. So my kids don't really eat these, so we'll we'll give I, I I've been enjoying them quite a bit though. So they're pretty good. Kind of like a big Kit Kat. Right, next time I'm gonna try one of these uh, chocolate chip bars. My wife bought these May of 2020. So I don't know if these are expired or not. I'll check them when I got better light or when I'm not driving, but we'll try these. Um, my kids really like these, so I'm surprised that we didn't bring these along with us when we left Chicago, but we had like so many of them. This might've just been like, we already got a couple boxes of it. We don't need to bring all of them. Still, tastes pretty good. I don't think it tastes any different. So, good. These are like a little bit flaky. My the baby loves them, but they make such a mess whenever she eats it. Next, we're gonna go with some enjoy life. Are these like protein bites? Yeah, protein bites. They're peanut safe. Their Enjoy Life products are free of most of the major allergens, or all of the major allergens, like the top eight, and free of a lot of other allergens as well. My kids don't like these, but my wife and I really do. They're kind of like really small, like power bars or protein bars, granola bars that adults would like. They're kind of like a dense cake ball type of consistency. This one is raspberry, really good.
Oof, about 417 miles on that tank of gas. And um, 17 gallons, 17.15 gallons to fill it back up. So, whew, I've got to pee. I mean, I didn't drive 417, 417 miles right now. I drove uh, half of that yesterday and half of that now. Now we're gonna head over to my in-laws. They have an entrance in the side door to the basement that I can go in. I won't have to go through the house. Everyone's gonna stay out of my way. I'll be able to get in. There's a bathroom down there that I desperately need to use. Um, but I'll be able to be stay sequestered from everybody there. Didn't go inside the gas station. So we're all set. Let's go. We are back on the road. I've been driving again for another about 20 minutes now. And uh, it feels like lunchtime to me, but it's only 9, like 25 in the morning. Let's see what else we got in this bag for now. Uh, oh, this is another one of those chocolate chip bars. We'll save that for later. Ah, all right. These are some strawberry graham crackers. My kids used to love these. I used to pack them for them all the time when they, like, I would pick them up from school. I don't think we've bought these since like May or June. So these are, I don't know what the expiration is on these, but they taste fine. I'm sure they're past their best by date, but they're okay. I've got this car as full as I can get it. I mean, I could probably fit a couple more things like over there, but I wasn't going to fit everything that we needed to get back here. We had basically divided up our stuff into like first trip, like the stuff we needed for last night. And then we had round two, which was going to be all this stuff. I didn't get everything in round two. And then we do have a round three of stuff, which is stuff that we won't need until like, it's all our like summer stuff. I'm thinking we'll probably come back and We'll see how I feel by the time I get back and drive another 200 miles. If I can make this round trip again. I'd rather do that if I can. Because if I don't, by then, you know, we'll then be in Chicago. I don't want to keep crossing the state line, even though we're careful and basically quarantine all the time. But yeah, so I'm going to try and get it done today, but we'll see how it goes. These strawberry graham crackers, I really like them. I normally don't really like graham crackers or strawberry flavored like kind of kind of savory things but these have just like a touch of sweetness to it and i end up really liking them i like the there's an original flavor for these and i like those a lot better but they're pretty good they have monsters on them Next, I'm going to try these granola balls. They're called granola minis from uh, Made Good. Made Good stuff is also uh, free of the top eight allergens, like the deadliest ones. Peanut safe to have in our house. My, they, these come in a couple of flavors. My wife usually buys this one, which is like mixed berry, and then there's another flavor that is chocolate chip. Um, the baby loves the chocolate chip, so I never usually get to eat those. But like anytime my wife buys a variety pack, these kind of get left behind. The baby will eat these if there's not chocolate chip, but usually there's a lot of these left over. So that's a snack that I don't mind kind of like taking and eating, uh, even though they're meant for the kids. But they're, they're pretty good. I like them. 
um, I've had them a lot of times before. Pretty small. Uh, I Sometimes in a pinch, I will uh, put this in my yogurt in the morning and have it kind of as like a granola and yogurt. They're a little bit big to put in yogurt, but sometimes they get like crumbled up and it's pretty nice that way. Like they, they managed to get like a good like kind of granola oat crunch to it that I find missing in a lot of uh, like granola bars. So I do like these minis a lot. I don't think anyone needs for me to describe for them what these taste like, do they? Everyone knows what these are, right? Almost home now. I am uh, in back in Lakeview in my home neighborhood. Once I get home, I'm first gonna hurry up and get out of the car and pee. Or go upstairs, go home and pee, and then unload this car. And I'll talk to my wife if um, we think it's a good idea if I try to make a second trip, do this all again to get the rest of our stuff. I think I think I can handle it. Uh, when it comes to just grinding things out and having a little bit of endurance, I can usually be stubborn about it and get things done. But, you know, she's concerned about safety and how tiring it can be to drive what would be a total of 16 hours of driving. So we'll, we'll talk it over and see how things go. All right. Unloaded the car. back in the car reloaded on coffee got to eat some ramen noodles that my wife had just happened to have made for the girls I ate all the girls leftovers this gopro keeps dying on me i did bring a charger along so i'm like charging it recording charging recording but we are back on the road now now um i'm refilled on coffee i still have plenty of water and i still have plenty of snacks we'll get into some more Next, let's try, uh, we'll try one of these. These are apple crisps. My daughters have stopped enjoying this, but we have so much of it, so I just kind of eat it. Every once in a while, like, if I'm eating one, they'll be like, hey, what's that? And I'll be like, this is the stuff that I bought you a long time ago that you guys don't like anymore. And then they're like, ooh, I want it. And then they'll take what I'm eating. Mm, this is good. This is very sweet. They make a whole bunch of kinds. These are Fuji apples with cinnamon. Now they make regular Fuji apple ones too. Like don't have the cinnamon. They're both pretty good. I don't think it needs the cinnamon though. Because the Fuji apples are so sweet. Mm, these are tasty. But I can only eat them like every once in a while. So I know what my daughters are going through when they get tired of it. But so far, I mean, I ran into a little bit of traffic in Chicago. But I got the car unloaded pretty quick. I'm making good time. Hopefully I'll be in uh, back in Iowa before like 6.30. Back on the road by 7 again. And hopefully at home by 11 p.m. Oh, it's a long day. I knew this would happen someday. You can ask on day one day. Cloudy days turn to sun rays. Only way to way up way. Know my way, know my feng shui. Now here's some more of this stuff from the same company, but this time it's bananas. I don't normally like bananas, but sometimes I like dried bananas, like dehydrated bananas. And, ooh, I can smell it already. Really strong banana smell. These are good. It's freeze dried bananas. They're tasty. They're crunchy, but not like that, like you've had a like a, a dried banana before, it's almost kind of like a stale, candied crunchiness to it. Because these are freeze dried, the crunchy is a little bit different. But then at the end, you get kind of like banana creaminess to it. So this is interesting. I think I like this. I am getting 
getting pretty hungry. It's kind of like four o'clock is not really dinner time, but that's normally after the live stream. And so I'm used to kind of eating something after the live stream. So I'm gonna go with some of these biscuits that my daughter made. She made them the other day. These biscuits are not usually good as leftovers, but right now I'm pretty hungry, so it's good. They are good if you like can pop them in the oven or in the air fryer. But right now, given that I'm hungry and I don't have like snacks that I love anymore, I think I've eaten all the good ones. This is, this is pretty good. I'm glad you make some. They just get so dense as leftovers. I mean, I know a lot of um, biscuits are like that, but her biscuits don't have um, lard in them, so for a butter biscuit, I think these are really good. I think one of the things that's the most disappointing about biscuits is that there's, it's, I think it's really hard to add stuff to a biscuit to make it better. I hear about things like cheddar biscuits or like jalapeno biscuits. It's, they're not like bagels. You just can't add toppings to them. I just think the, the biscuit is pretty dense, so it's hard to do that. About the only thing that I like putting on a biscuit is gravy, if you're having like biscuits and gravy. You know, so that's good, but like, I don't know, like, it's kind of like when people will like, season their flour if they're dredging something to, to fry it. Like, I just feel like it's a waste of ingredients. I never taste it. I mean, these are plain biscuits, so I'm not going to be tasting anything other than biscuit anyway, but just my general thought on biscuits. We just passed a place over there. There used to be a diner for the longest time. I've eaten there, I think once, maybe twice. It's in the middle of nowhere. And then after a while, it got some slot machines and then it expanded. It built an entire second level above the ground level and it was all slot machines. I never saw any of the slot machines myself, but I'd seen how it had changed when gambling spread a little bit more throughout the state. Now, I'm guessing with social distancing or whatever, it's not a diner anymore or a slot machine place. It looks like it's a um, car dealership. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, get it down, never going up, 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 get it down, never going up. All right, getting into Dubuque now. 5 30. I'm pretty hungry. Gonna eat another one of these made good bars. This is a lot like, I think this is also like the mixed berry, so it should be the same flavor as the granola minis that I had earlier, but now it's in like a bar form. Again, my kids don't like these, so I can kind of usually eat these guilt-free. These are a little bit kind of like softer, almost gummier than the minis were, like the balls were. It's more of a granola bar, but I like the crunchiness of the other ones more. But these are very sweet. I just have so many sweet things left. I'm feeling pretty good about the drive. We got a beautiful sunset. Just getting like tired of it. I'm about 40 minutes, 30 minutes from my in-laws house. We'll load up. It's not going to be quite a full load, so that'll be good too. Um, I should have to drive all the way back. Oh, I got to get gas too. Last time I was able to go to the gas station, didn't have to go inside, wasn't near anyone, had my mask on, so I'm expecting the same thing again because it's just a small town gas station with pay at the pump, so that, that gas station didn't always have pay at the pump gas station, like uh, gas pumps. I remember there were times when we'd come into town, like coming in on fumes, and the gas station would be closed because you had to go inside to pay. You just wouldn't be able to get gas. Or like, if we were trying to leave early in the morning, we didn't have gas, we were out of luck. That wasn't that long ago, but eh, maybe 10 years ago, something like that, but now you can get gas whenever you need it. 
On the mixed berry front, I'm gonna have one of these organic fruit smoothie things, Earth's best organic some kind of baby food. My kids, a lot like a lot of their snacks, they go in spurts and enjoying this. This one I'm a little bit nervous about. It's a yogurt product that doesn't need to be refrigerated and it technically expired like three days ago, maybe four days ago, I don't remember. I think it'll be fine. But man, all I have is like sweet stuff left in. Wish I had something more savory. Yeah, this tastes good. It's fine. Yeah. I hope I don't regret that later. All right, it is 10.30. Made it back safely to Chicago. Got the second load unloaded. I, I was gonna shoot more footage of it, but it was dark already by the time I even got to my in-less house for the second round. So I figured, you know what? We'll just cut to the end. But uh, the main thing is I could really go for some like real food. I've only been eating like snacks all day. I am a little bit hungry. I don't want anything sweet. I'm glad that I made it home safely. I made really good time. It's a little bit after 10 o'clock, 10.30, but I made it the trip in like three, a little bit more than three and a half hours, which is really good considering uh, I was trying to go real slow because I was carrying a load and I was worried that I might be tired, but I didn't feel tired. I mean, I was tired, but I wasn't sleepy at all during this trip. So I feel really good about it. Happy that we got, well, we don't have like our summer stuff. So there's still like another, like probably like car load, maybe even two car loads still at my in-laws house, but we have everything that we're gonna need for now. And now we're probably gonna lay low for a little bit since we're coming in from somewhere else. And then uh, resume life back in Chicago, I guess. <sighs> Yo, what's going on?